First things first, if you don't already have Google Chrome, go ahead and download it. And if you already have it downloaded, make sure it's up to date. We'll be using Chrome as our browser of choice for all of our front-end development, as Chrome has a ton of excellent built-in tools for developers, including things like Chrome DevTools. Later on, we can install some extensions that will help us when we start working with frameworks such as React and state management tools like Redux. All right, let's get started. The reason we're using Google Chrome is because it has a lot of really amazing tools for developers that just make um, looking for things and working with JavaScript a lot easier than it might otherwise be. So uh, once you have Google Chrome installed, I want you to go ahead and open up a new tab and let's take a look at what we can do with it. So you'll see right here that, you know, this is the regular uh, Chrome tab, but in any tab in Chrome, what you can do is um, get to your developer tools. So what you wanna do here is right click anywhere on the page and you wanna hit inspect. And once you click inspect, as you see, this um, second panel should open up. And what that is, that is the developer tools. That allows us to see um, sort of the ins and outs of the page itself, how it works, how it's built um, to some degree. And uh, you know, take a look at all the important pieces that we might need to work with. So with um, this tab on the right here, we have a couple of different options here. We have um, a couple of different tabs. We have elements, we have console, we have recorder, and there's actually a drop down with a whole bunch of other um, tabs that we can interact with. We're not gonna use all of these right now um, or potentially even later. Some of them uh, are not as useful to us um, as uh, beginning developers. We are pretty much gonna focus on the elements, the console, and this lower part down here. So let's break down what it is. Um, the top part at Elements, it's actually the HTML. It's the HTML tree, um, the entire breakdown of the file itself. What we have, um, you know, how it's broken down into the body, the head, and different dividers, and the elements that are nested within that. Um, so this is a really great thing if we want to just see how a web page is built. We can literally just look and see, oh, okay, that's like the header, and then it contains these links, these A tags. Um, that have, you know, the about the store, et cetera, et cetera. So um, it's really useful if you ever are like going on a web page and you're not sure about how it's built, you can just right click, inspect, and go to the elements tab and then see how everything is put together. Another really cool thing about the elements tab is we can actually take a look at the CSS. So this is the CSS down at the bottom here. And of course we'll learn how to write CSS and write HTML. Um, but I just want you to be aware that this is there. Once you do start learning, you can go ahead and play with any website you'd like. Um, you can interact with this. It's not gonna save it obviously, uh, but you can change uh, the display type. You can change it from flex. You can change it to block. You can literally type in any different thing here. You could type in background. Um, and then you could change it to beige and it would actually change the color um, of the background on the web page. Now, when you hit refresh, you know, it's not there anymore, but you know, it gives you at least the option to try and do something like that. Um, so what we're gonna do, what you can also check out is the console. On the right of elements, you can click on this tab called console. And this is actually part of the JavaScript console. This is like the extent, this is the JavaScript console that when you write JavaScript in your HTML files or in your own JavaScript files um, in your code editor, which we'll get to in a little bit, um, the results will actually show up here. The really cool thing about the console though, is you can actually type in proper JavaScript syntax and it will actually compile it for you. So if I type in console.log, hello world, and I hit enter, it'll actually log it to the console. So um, the console is processing JavaScript properly um, and it is a way for us to further interact with, um, with the browser. Uh, so yeah, this is why we're using Chrome as opposed to Firefox or Safari. It just lends um, a few extra tools that will be really useful for us to use.